Okay, I want to go over how to make changes in a um, Google slide that has been um, pre-formatted slightly for you. So I've created a fake uh, sample Google slides assignment and I'm logged in as the fake student account. And I'm going to view assignment because we should always click view assignment and make sure there's no directions that I need to read beforehand. And also that's where you go to add or create and some people are losing that. So we're going to click on the presentation, the slideshow, and you'll notice that you can't change anything. I can't delete this. I can't make any changes to this. It's already there which is a good thing because it means you can't delete something you're going to need later. So this is to help you avoid deleting something that you may need. But I do want to show you what you're going to need to do in order to be successful at um, completing all the tasks on this. So the first thing, don't forget, you need to go to file, make a copy. It doesn't matter if there's only one slide, you can do an entire presentation or you can do slide. But it's always best to do entire just because sometimes there will be more. So this is fake student. I'm changing copy of to the name to student's name. So you're going to put your name there and then leave the part that is the title of the um, slideshow, which in this case is untitled. OK, so I'm making a copy for myself. So now I can make changes on it. If you try and make changes on this, you're going to have trouble and then it's going to be hard to turn in. So now I've made a copy and now it says here underline an example of dialogue. So in order to underline there is this little button up here and if you don't see it you need to click on the arrow here or you can it says you can hit control shift F and that will bring this menu up. So this little button here with the line and the dots at the ends that's the underline that's the way that you're going to underline something. So I'm going to find dialogue and I'm going to underline the dialogue. And if I want to do two underlines, I just twice. Okay, so that's underlining. Now, if I want to box, it says box a vocabulary word. So right next to the line, there is this button that says shapes. So I'm going to click on that shapes and box. Okay, and then here's a vocabulary word. So I'm going to again put my T cursor that I have now up to the top left corner of the word I want to box. And you can see that I'm kind of making the lower quarter frame that word. And I'm going to draw the box, click and drag, and that will draw the box around what I want to box. Now, this is a problem because the first thing it does is it makes it gray and we don't want it gray. We want to be able to read the word that we've boxed. So it's super easy to fix. You just go back up here. You've got the line that you already used. You've got the shapes that you've already used. And right to the other side of that is fill color. You click on fill color and you click transparent. And when I click that, you can see the word through the box. The box is still there and you can read the word underneath. Okay, now the last direction here says draw an arrow to show what the box zip is. So I'm going to go back to shape. There's an arrow and I'm going to use that one. So I'm going to draw my arrow and if I need to move it around, I can do that. I can also make this transparent the same way as I made the other one by clicking fill color and going transparent. I can change the color if I want to make it stand out more on the darker text. So that's how to underline this button, how to box this button. And we use the same, oh wait, we did practice the fill color also. Okay, now other people were having trouble with inserting um, text. So if you go insert text box, you can do that. Or you'll notice this little box with the T in it is also right here. So you can click on that. And then you've got your T again. And I'm going to put it at the top left corner of where I want to put my text box. 
click, drag, and there will be a blue box there. And all you have to do is click in that blue box and then you can type your answer in the box. Okay, and that will be saved. The work will be saved because you've made it your own um, copy. Now, another part of this that was a challenge for people, so I'm gonna go over it again, is how to submit this once you've got your work done. So I have, this is automatically saved. I see it says last edit was seconds ago. So I know that it's saving. I'm gonna go back to my assignment in Google Classroom. And if you can't find this, you're probably not clicking view assignment, which you need to remember to do. And then I'm gonna go over here to the add or create button. Click that. This one, sometimes we're gonna use file. Sometimes we're gonna use Google Drive. This is a Google Drive. So I can click that. If you've saved it on your desktop, you're gonna to need to click upload. But this is right here, Harry Potter Untitled. This is the last one I did. I'm gonna click that, click insert, and it automatically attaches. And if I wanna check, and make sure that that's the right attachment. I can click on it. It opens up. All my editing is still there. And then I can click turn in. That's the way to edit a slide and how to turn it in. Hopefully that helps.